Hey, so here we are at Oregon Urology Institute. Come on inside. Hi, I'm Terry Fitzpatrick. I am uh, the retired CEO of Oregon Urology Institute. So when I started in 2006, we had just merged and created Oregon Urology Institute. And the physicians had two primary goals for me. One was to develop a radiation center, and the other was to look at developing a path lab. And those sounded good, but coming from primary care with no urology experience, I had no clue on, on what to do or how to get started. So the physicians told me to contact a couple of groups because they would help me out. Being in, in primary care, I've never had collaborative relationships, so this was sort of a unique thing. Uh, I ended up calling uh, Mike Dermer of Urology San Antonio. Mike was the CEO before Alan Winkler, and Mike was very helpful, said, come on out. I spent two days in San Antonio and went through their radiation center, their path lab operations. Mike gave me as much information as I could handle, contacts, sent me in the right direction. And then as we were leaving, he also said, hey, by the way, a group of us get together in Chicago every year and maybe you'd like to go. I went to that and that basically evolved into LUDPUF, what you see now. Uh, we have been involved since the beginning. Uh, what I have found personally is the ability to develop networks, contacts, um, mentorship, uh, get my questions answered, develop friendships has been personally rewarding, but also LUDPA for the group and their political uh, activities, their ability to get on the, the map in DC to work with us on reimbursement have been, has been phenomenally good. And, and I, I can't say how much the group has benefited from the relationship. So my name is Kim Zenkare. I've been the COO at Oregon Urology for the past 10, 11 years. Um, my background is hospital nursing. Um, coming to a clinic, there is a large learning curve. Uh, LUGPA has helped me. Um, I was fortunate enough to be on the second uh, executive leadership um, cohort. And so in that program, um, learning about financials, negotiating, um, communication, um, and just really how to be the best leader that I can be. Um, also, um, what Terry said about um, networking, huge. Um, running a clinic, running a medical um, facility is tricky, especially after COVID. And um, networking, helping with, we're, we're all struggling with staffing. Talking to a couple of per groups about how they have helped with um, figured out how they could do triage in their um, uh, in their clinics. We have adapted those. We have vetted um, various groups, um, ancillaries to help us. And uh, LUGPA puts all of us together to help each other and to facilitate that. And uh, that's, LUGPA has been very beneficial to me and I encourage you all to be active and involved. At the first part of the year, it was a pipe in the ceiling of this office that burst, a big sprinkler pipe that flooded the entire building. That was a crisis. We are a building of 16 urologists all in one location. Our surgery center is here. Our procedure rooms are here. CT scan, x-ray, research, everything that we do is in one location. And we were, um, so to speak, dead in the water. So when you look at what has LUGPA done for us, well, we built all those things and got advice to build all these things, but it's also how we figured out how to literally dig ourselves out of this wetness, how to fix the building, get ourselves up and running, how to get our surgery center going. And it's the network and everybody that you know in LUGPA that helps you get through crises and lean on other people. And I think there will be future presentations of what did we do right? What did we do wrong? Our insurance, our business interruption insurance, all kinds of factors. There's certain things we did great and that really helped us and other things we could have done better. And other groups can now learn from us.